Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm just gonna be covering how to finish off the Burning Love event, and this is week two of a two week challenge. So if you didn't get the first week done, you won't be able to get the fireplace, but you still are able to get one reward, which I will show at the end of the video here. But let's get into it, it is something free to get. So just to point out, this is just like the first week. Um, you do need to have the pink um, paint job on the flamer and it does not work with the holy fire and you do have to be on a team but I'm showing right here that I'm not getting the challenge to um, progress right here I'm in a private lobby and even if you join a team by yourself you can still easily get these done you just need to be on a team it doesn't have to be with other people so if you want to go the lone wolf route then you are still able to do that especially if you have access to a private lobby you'll see i'm just by myself and i started up a team and i'm going to come over here and kill a scorched and you will see it is counting towards the progression of this challenge so and yes again you cannot put the skin on the holy fire which you know kind of sucks but I'm going to show you how to get a flamer just in case uh, you don't have one or you can't craft one. And if you don't have the pink uh, flamer paint job, it is in the atomic shop for free. So you can just come in here and grab it really quick and then you'll be able to put it on a flamer, which is not the holy fire. Okay, so like I said, you can craft the flamer, but if you don't have the plan for it, you can just come over to Cory times three here, and there is a huge Mirelurk queen here, but you can just pretty much avoid it. You may have to fight a couple of Mirelurks, maybe a Mirelurk king, so just throwing that out there. Be prepared when you come over here, and just behind this yellow pump, I think you would call it, um, there will be a flamer. And I'm going to show you all the attachments and everything I put on it. There's the Mylar Queen. So like I said, you can kind of just avoid her. But of course, there's a Mylar King here. I don't think there will always be kings over here. Maybe you'll get a hunter instead. I find you either get kings or hunters. But um, you should easily be able to sneak over here even if you don't want to fight anything. And the Flamer is just going to be over here on the ground. And it should be a level 50. Sometimes you'll get these weapons and they are a lower level. I didn't have a problem with this flamer. It was a level 50 as I'm going to show here. And then we can get the max damage out of it. Unless you're lower than level 50, of course, then it might be a lower level. Now just throwing this out here, this is all the attachments that I put on my flamer. The good thing about the flamer is that it is an extremely powerful weapon, even if it's not the holy fire. So again, you're not even going to need a lot of perks on. Um, the only perks that I put on were stabilized and I hopped in a power armor to give this kind of an anti-armor effect. And I just put on one heavy gunner because this is a heavy weapon and it benefits from the heavy gunner perks. And that was more than enough to kill the enemies that I'm going to show you to get the challenges done. If you are using stabilized, make sure you're in a power armor. It will not work. Okay, so the first challenge we're going to be tackling here, which is in your map, if you go to events, it's under dailies and weeklies. You may want to track these so they just stay up there so you don't have to go into this menu every time. So this isn't always here, so I thought I would show this. And the first challenge, as I was going to say, we're getting to here is to kill some glowing enemies. This is very easy. We're just going to come up to Toxic Larry's Meet and Go here, and there will be three glowing Snallygasters. Sometimes you'll get the odd time where it's there's like one that isn't a glowing enemy. Keep in mind you can easily fast travel away from these places and come back in and there will be more of them. Uh, the next place we want to go to is the Flooded Train Yard. Tons of glowing Snallygasters here as well. We only need to get 10 for this challenge. So you may be able to complete it just going to these first two places. If not, I'm going to bring you over to the White Springs and show you where a couple more are. Um, you can see I took Barry Mentats is there for some of these challenges. Um, if you want to get it done that much quicker, the Barry Mentats definitely help, especially at the Flooded Train Yard here. Um, the Snallygasters are a little hard to spot here. Um, of course, you don't need Barry Mentats, you'll be able to find them, but it just helps you probably quicker or to get through here quicker than you think it would. So just throwing that out there, every little bit helps, right?
Okay, and again, we're gonna head over to the White Springs Golf Club if you didn't get all the 10 glowing creatures. And there's usually a glowing rad stag over here. Sometimes there's two, maybe I'm wrong, but there's usually at least one over here. I know that for a fact. And there will be a glowing enemy downstairs as well where I'm going to show. It's either a bloated glowing ghoul or a glowing wendigo. It's almost every time that I noticed. So you should be uh, guaranteed to get this if you come down here if you're still missing one. And again, just reload the servers or hop servers and try going to these spots again if you didn't get enough. Okay, so the second challenge, we are going to be killing humans and we need 30 of them. So you're basically just gonna wanna be killing cultists and blood eagles. A good place to kill cultists is Lucky Hole Mine. Now there's a couple on the outside here and don't forget to go in to Lucky Hole Mine as well. There are a ton of cultists in here if you run all the way through. I think I almost finished the challenge. I think it was at like 20 by the time we got through here. So we only needed another 10. And a good place for uh, Blood Eagles is Bloody Franks I like to go to. There's so many places um, for cultists and Blood Eagles on the map, everybody. Just look around the map. I'm sure you will find more than a couple places to go to. It doesn't matter where you go. It's wherever you want to go to, you know, to uh, have a bit of fun. As long as you kill 30 of them. Very easy challenge. Okay, the next challenge we're going to be doing is kill Scorched while on a team with the Hot Rods Pink Flamer. And it's the same thing, you just gotta go to where Scorched are. Morgantown Airport's a great start. You can actually start up an event here that will spawn four or five waves of Scorched as well, which I'm sure most people are aware of. And yeah, um, Helvetia is a good place to go for for Scorched. Camden Park is a good place to go for Scorched. Poseidon is a good place to go for Scorched. Um, even if you go down south in the Cranberry, fight some Scorch Beast. Tons of places to find Scorch. I really don't think this challenge right here would be much of a problem for anybody unless you're a fairly new player. So just keep that in mind. Not everybody knows where all this stuff is. That's why I like to make these videos. Um, if you see Distant Thunder pop up, definitely go there for the Scorch because you can probably get 20 to 30 of them at this event alone. Um, surface to Air would be another good one too as long as you can take out Scorch Beast. And then once you are done that, we have one more challenge to do to complete the weekly. And we do have five total challenges, but you only need to complete four, but I'll get into that as in a second. For the next challenge, we need to find a lesser devil and we want to start up an expedition, specifically tax evasion. And once you spawn into Atlantic City here, make sure you have um, selected tax evasion. And then we're gonna come over where I'm showing here and there will be two lesser devils. These guys always spawn up here. You do not have to do the whole expedition. You can literally just start it up as I'm showing, come over here and then there's two of them to kill. So if you have a friend with you, you know, you can get two done right here very easily. And then that's all you need to do, as I was saying, to complete week two's challenge. But if you want to be an overachiever and get that fifth challenge, which I do suggest leaving the trogs for the last challenge, you're going to have to do another expedition. I would do the pit um, sorry, you have to do the pit, but I would specifically do union dues. But the only thing is, is you're going to have to run through a whole um, expedition to get the trogs to spawn. And it's still fairly quick, like if you're familiar with expeditions. So you can run through these very quick. You can actually skip some side objectives. And I just want to point out if you do go to get this extra challenge for the perk card packs, just maybe kill all the trogs outside of going back to the pen, because then that way you're not stressed about killing them if you're with a friend. That way you and your friend can get them all done. And yeah, just it's a lot better. There's tons of them around. You'll get more than 10 without having to go to the pen. And then this will be your Ruby's Heart Glasses reward. And if you complete it week one, you will get these rewards as well, the jumpsuit and the fireplace. Um, I really hope this helps some people complete the challenge. As always, everybody, thank you so much for checking out my video and have a lovely evening.